Now that our graph is rendering much more consistently, I just kind of want to uh, trim the fat over here from um, the rest of this. So um, I'm going to pop into my filament group folder, and I notice that I have a lot of extra files over here. So first order business, I'm just going to delete all these other HTML files besides my own. Don't need any of those. Um, in my CSS, I'm going to, now looking at my code, I don't really have anything loading except for visualize CSS and visualize dash dark dot CSS. So these other ones are unnecessary. Well, you know, obviously if you wanted to use the light version, you could change this to light and, and delete the other one, but I'm going to keep mine to dark. And let's see what else we have. The JS all these other ones, uh, well, I can't get rid of just com looking at what's getting loaded as part of the requirement over here. X canvas is required. Um, Visualize.jQuery.js is necessary. An example, what I'm going to edit in a minute, um, is also needed. So essentially, I'm just going to delete the other two examples, the editable and filtering example. And uh, one more piece of the puzzle over here is that I see that in example JS, this is what's actually calling all these different bar charts to be created. So um, honestly, I don't I don't need any of them, right? I mean, oh, I don't need any any of them. All I need is the actual bar chart. So let me delete the line. Let me delete area. And I think I could even delete the pie. Let's see what the result is. The, voila. Okay. So now I have it all set. Now I could potentially even stop my uh, my graph from rendering over here. Um, and I think if I were to rather my graph my HTML table, um, and I think I would just do that with just some easy CSS and I put something like uh, uh, table display none in there because uh, we have to generate a table in HTML anyway for this thing to render from it so I, I would just say that the criticism to doing a display none is well you're still downloading the content so you know why are you doing that but you know we need the uh, we need that HTML anyway, so with that said, we're not like wasting um, we're not wasting bandwidth over there because it's required. So if I wanted to do that, I could go right into the CSS file in here. Um, let's see if I just edit the visualize. Uh, why don't we do table display none maybe. See how that works out. That's it. And that will do it for that. So there we go. Pretty cool chart. A lot more going into this than what you see, but I think this should give you an idea of the flexibility of HTML5 Canvas.